What's up guys? My name is Puma. Welcome back to the channel wherever you may be and however you may be watching. Thanks for making this video a part of your day. Well today we don't have towers. We don't have my career mode. We don't have universe mode. But we are gonna start showcase. I completely forgot about this mode um, and, and it should be one of the best modes. So let's get into our showcase here with Daniel Bryan. I've never had it easy in WWE. I've had injuries. I was released twice, and just when I had scratched and clawed my way to the top, my in-ring career was over. I could have sat at home, satisfied with what I accomplished, but I decided that's not how I wanted my story to end. I wanted to show myself, my family, and anyone who's gone through adversity in life that you need to take on whatever challenges you face and fight for your dreams. Might as well get on the Daniel Bryan bandwagon. Yes! 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 The Miracle Kid! The Miracle Kid! 77,000 chanting in unison. Yes! 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 Alright, here we go. It looks like we're going to be taking on John Cena on Velocity. It says it's completed, but um, I don't know how. Option... Okay. Alright, let's get into it with John Cena as Brian Danielson. Right after I graduated high school, I moved from Washington down to Texas to train at Shawn Michaels School. It wasn't too long after that that I was signed by WWE. When I first got signed by WWE in 2000, I had no idea really what to expect. Most of the guys on TV had been wrestling for years and years, and at that point I'd only been wrestling for six months. Since I was still really new to all this, I was sent to hone my craft at WWE's developmental territory, which at the time was in Memphis. Luckily. William Regal was a trainer there and he helped me out a lot. So with the WWE contract and Hall of Fame trainers, Brian Danielson was on the fast track to success, right? No, not quite. I was released in 2001, the first time I was released by WWE. It was really hard actually because I really didn't know what to do. William Regal told me this is a chance to learn. This is a chance to go travel the world, find who you are as a wrestler and find who you are as a person. So I went back to the Indies and touring in Japan. But soon after that, in 2003, Brian Danielson made his triumphant return to WWE. Well, sort of. Brian Danielson from Aberdeen, Washington. I returned for some one-off matches on WWE's weekend shows, Sunday Night Heat and Velocity. I like this tour. Look at that, nice monkey flip. Well, you know this Brian Danielson is a very accomplished young man. We've seen him in the past and he's very, very good. I didn't really have a goal other than it was good exposure on TV. And one of these matches happened to be against a young up-and-comer named John Cena. Surely this would be my big break, right? Okay, here we go. Whoa, okay, yeah. Perform a targeting limb attack from a standing Whoa. grapple on John Cena's arm. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, nice reversal there from Brian Danielson. Oh, goes for a drop kick. Cena blocks him. And a European uppercut. European, okay, here we go. Into the headlock. Oh, going down to the arm. And a rope break, lucky for John Cena. Brian Danielson. Oof, what a suplex there to, as he called it, the up-and-comer. Or, excuse me, John Cena, the up-and-comer. Oh, he's got a payback. Oh, going for a headbutt. And he misses. Big neck breaker by Yellow Pants Cena. What, what is happening here? Oh, and a drop kick. All right, so Brian Danielson not doing so great at the moment. Oh, gosh. Jeez. And over the top. Jeez, all the way out to the floor goes Brian Danielson. Cena now with a kick to the back. 
Oh, nice reversal from Danielson and hooks him up. Oh, drops Cena right on his head. Danielson's gonna get back in the ring. And the crowd loves some Brian Danielson right now and a low drop kick. And a big kick right to the back. Uh-oh. And Cena with an uppercut. Going after him. Oh, nice reversal. The reversals so far in this game are fantastic. If I can kind of break character. Uh-oh. Out of reversals. Looks like we might get one soon, though. Oh, huge clothesline by John Cena. But Daniel Bryanson, what am I saying? Brian Danielson jumps up to his feet. Only to get blasted in the face. Cena now going for the pin. Danielson's able to kick out. Oh. Oh, right to the ear. And now, nice reversal. Oh, reversal from Cena. Nice job there, and Brian Danielson. Look at this. Into the yes lock. Holy cow. That was fast. Okay. That was fast. But hooks him up. German suplex to Cena. And another reversal from Cena. The legs get taken out from under Danielson here. Oh, man. Jeez, the spine buster, just the strength of John Cena. Cena's going to drag Danielson out towards the center of the ring and go for the pin. But no. Danielson's going to kick out just right at one. Looks like Cena is setting... Danielson up. Uh oh. Oh man, what a move there by Cena. Look at this. Drops hard. Cena is quite a bit taller than Danielson, so the the height he, from which he's dropped is very high. Oh. Oh my goodness. Danielson kicks out, and Cena is upset with the referee, and now he's taking it out on Brian Danielson. And hooking him up into a headlock now, but, oh. And just, oh, right into the ear. You ever been punched in the ear? Dear God, the pain. Wrenching now is Cena. He is not gonna let Brian Danielson out of it, but he's able to fight his way through here. Shot to the midsection and another. Danielson sending. Oh, brings him right back. Brings him right back and goes. Oh, man, goes for that arm of Cena. Whips him down. Holy cow. And Cena, look at this. Nice takedown reversal. My goodness. What? He is going to quickly go for the pin and dirty pin at that. But it doesn't stop Danielson wondering what is going on here. How the ref doesn't see it. Hooks him up and hangs Cena out to dry. Nice move by Danielson. Going now over towards Cena's head. Okay, why can't I freaking do this? Cena quickly going for the pin again. He just wants out of this matchup, and Danielson's not going to let him. Quickly rolls out the ring, though. What is Danielson? He's just running from Cena at this point. No, he says. Enough is enough. Back into the ring he goes to catch Cena. Drops him down. Nice move there. Oh, my gosh. All right. I, oh, what is the deal? Why can't I perform a grapple of the head of a grounded John Cena? And again. What? Okay. Went for the signature there and didn't get anything. 
Oh, man. Up. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and the squats. Cena going for the squats. And drops Danielson hard. Cena now with that signature to look for that bomb again. And no! Danielson gets out of it. Look at this. Control of Cena is trying to get a, a, a hurt that arm there. But Cena is much more powerful and, and much taller, a little bigger. Look at this. Cena trying to roll through it. And now he gets a hold of Brian Danielson. Oh, no. The test of strength. Oh, just a one count. Back down again. And what? He is trying to push Danielson down, but he can't. Oh, got him up. And a huge monkey flip sends John Cena flying. And a, oh, jeez. Cena tries to knock Danielson's head right off his shoulders. Oh my goodness. And now Cena's taking it to Danielson with these stomps and saying, get up, get up. Big shot to the back there. Into the corner goes Danielson from one side of the ring to the other. Oh, and he moves out of the way just in time and delivers a huge, huge German suplex to Cena. He's going to drag Cena out. And what's he setting him up for? Big knee right to the side of the head. Danielson now calling Cena up to his feet. And he's going to spin him around. Look at this. Look at this. He's hooked him up. Oh, my goodness. He's going to get up and go right for the forearm, and he blocks it. Oh, huge spine buster there by Cena. Danielson might be out of it. And no, a kick out at two. My goodness. Oh, big fist drop, and Danielson's busted open. But a kip up. And he's going to knock Cena down. And what's he got going here? Look at this nice little judo throw. And an elbow across the arm. Wow. Man. Okay. This is annoying. How am I supposed to do these challenges? Uh-oh. Cena now looking to take out Daniel Bryan. Bryan not having it, though. Nice move. Oh, Cena reversing. Uh-oh. Whoa. Cena picks up Daniel. Oh, Danielson and hangs him over the top rope. My goodness. And now the turnbuckle is exposed by Cena, who is charging up, it looks like. Get, get off of him. Danielson not... Having any part of that. Kick to the midsection. Hooking him up. Look at the just oh my goodness. And this time Danielson lets go just in time before Cena takes it to him. And now Danielson sends Cena into the turnbuckle. Turning him over now. Oh my good God. And another spine buster center of the ring this time. Oh. And Danielson is still able to kick out. The boy cannot be stopped. Quickly going for the pin again. And Danielson able to kick out once again. Cena now looking to finish off Danielson. And not this time. He says, you're not doing that again. Reversal, though, from Cena. Shot to the back of the head. Look at Danielson not ready to give up. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. 
kip up there by Danielson. And immediately going after. Oh, the ref gets in the way, it looks like. Jeez. On the middle rope. Nice move. Goes for the pin. And a kick out at two. A kick out at two by Cena. And Danielson now stomping away. Oh, my goodness. He goes for the pin. Can he finish John Cena off? No. No. Just a two count. But as he tries to... Oh, boy. Oh, and a kick to the face of Danielson by Yellow Pants. Look at this. Has him up. Oh, center of the ring drops him down with that bomb. And that's it. Cena finishes it off. Big boot to the face. And finishes off Brian Danielson. Couldn't keep Cena down. But Cena couldn't keep him down until right there at the last second. Wow. All right. Well, that was a pretty fun match. It was kind of difficult. Um, he, he's, you know, doing some of those challenges where he's on the ground and you got to grapple him on the head and all that stuff. Boy, kept reversing it. But that's pretty fun. This is cool. I like this. Uh, but look at the difference in these matches. February 8, 2003. And then February 23, 2010. Over seven years. Just over seven years. He's going to face Chris Jericho on NXT with The Miz in his corner. But that is going to be for the next showcase video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you all for the support and welcoming me back after such a long hiatus. Uh, while I was dealing with family stuff and, and work and all that stuff. But you guys are awesome. You guys have come back. You comment on the videos. You talk to me on Twitter. This is awesome. So thank you guys so much. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. We've got lots more 2K19 coming at you.